everyone and welcome to Solar Eclipse 2024 we are in New York City and this is a big deal everyone is talking about it and uh, let us find a good location and uh, enjoy it welcome everyone let's go we are on Upper East Side we're walking toward East River looking at the Sun that is slowly but surely going to be covered by moon all the way up to 87 percent hi Ambrose hi Ubuntu let's do it huh no soon 335 full full cover almost full cover oh my god thank you how's everybody doing so someone asked me what time is the you know the darkest time darkest time supposed to be 335 hey Austin hi L Delilah Jennifer hi Nancy Franklin don't look at the sun not even for a fraction of a second no 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 Delilah got the glasses in case of I will for a fraction of a second also she got me a filter for the camera but this is something that can be applied over so let's see manually ambrose hi delilah delilah is not with me today but she's probably listening in the background somewhere as she's doing a lot of other things we are on 63rd street and uh, about to cross second avenue we're going to look up and down and all over so this is not the busiest location as far as uh, how many people will be there probably not but this is where today found us in the middle of the day so this is how we're going to do we're going to improvise as we always hey and why good to see you hi angela hi joshua If I point the camera at the sun, it doesn't mean I'm looking at the sun. That would be crazy. Right now, you would never tell that something is going to happen because the sun is up there, bright and nice. Let me play with the settings a little bit. Sometimes you can uh, uh, change a little bit of an aperture, make it a little bit, a little bit darker. If we make it a little bit darker, what do we see? Oh, it's much better now, right? Okie dokie, beautiful, beautiful. The sky is clear enough. Now it gets a little darker, so we're going to go back to our normal camera settings for now. Which is right here, okay. But we will probably darken it a little bit later. Oh, it's good to no couple of settings here and there especially on a sunny day like this sunny slash dark day 12 14. so we have about one hour and 20 minutes to the moment when it will be the darkest phase for about four and a half minutes until then we're going to look see when you look right now you don't feel and uh, much of discomfort because you know the lands they are taking care of it welcome everyone please don't forget to give us a like today is a very <laughs> a fairly unusual time for us to be alive but this is something that we cannot pass by right so we're approaching first avenue there's a very long avenue box. Mr. Ralph Frost, uh, self made. You're from Queens. My idea is to get closer to the river where they have a. Uh, fairly unobstructed area and from there 
you can probably enjoy the scenery as well as people watch as well as sun watch Delilah gave me some chocolate covered almonds so I can feel <laughs> good Excuse me. Mm. Bye. Okay, I'm good. The entrance to Queensboro Bridge is tall, right? We are on East 63rd Street, Baker Street, look at that. <coughs> hey Caroline, Ann. hi Olivia, hi Jennifer. <coughs> Joshua, so everyone enjoy the eclipse and have a wonderful North America. And see you next time, kind regards, Joshua. Very good to see you, Joshua. Thank you always for your comments. Always good to see you. <laughs> this is the most profound solar eclipse of the century. I'm actually just going to sit in the apartment and walk Of the century, so... If we don't see it now... We will not see it ever in North America. Hey, Noble Sweetness, Fabiano M. Austin, I'll be careful. If I has eyes, they will be blinded also. Thank you, Austin. Angela, it's hot, hot breezy here, and just some light clouds. La Mesonet. La Mesonet, hello from Belgium, Brussels. Ambrose, hi, Noble Sweetness. Hey, Ambrose, NY, Noble Sweetness. Austin City Limits, thank you for being here. Special Doris and Magnolia and Bakery, a good bakery. Yes, Magnolia Bakery is a good bakery, very popular. I like banana pudding that they have. We're going to bypass this building soon. Right now, it's just we're in the shade and the shadows. And it's kind of like intermittent clouds, so it's a little cloudy and then not. But overall, there is an anticipation in here. We'll talk about this a lot. Hey, John E. Okay, I hope nothing people are not gonna go crazy because it looks like people are going a little cookie for Coca Pop these days. A little bit more intense than usual. <clears throat> Fabian in one hour. Yes, about 3.25, so one hour and five minutes will be the peak. So we're anticipating that soon the moon will start covering the surface of the sun as far as it's seen from the earth in our area 
So we're anticipating that the things get, will gonna get a little darker sooner rather than later. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Round three of five here will be near totality. Jennifer, 325, thank you. So we have one hour and about 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the esplanade toward the waterfront. We will also be very mindful of the network coverage, but as soon as we walk past this bridge, we should be okie doke. We'll be on a half from Hungary. This is fairly new section of the park. We explored it once in the dark. Oh, look, there's people there already. This is FDR Drive in East 63rd Street. But I think they found the best spot. But you can be down there as well. It shows you, right? It shows you how hyped everybody up. Yeah, okay, breeze from Switzerland. 8.22 p.m. Gilbert van der Broek. Bonjour. Bonsoir. This is Delala got me glasses. I'm going to try them. But before I try them, I want to find me. I want to make sure that I have a good signal. So this is, this seems to be a good spot, which we should keep in mind. Someone made the glasses out of the cardboard. <clears throat> Very creative. When the opposite side of the island be better. Yes and no. This one is pretty visible. And, uh, you know, I was able to be here. <clears throat> so let's just leave the other side of the island for everybody else. Nelly Botia, hello from Netherlands, 8.22 p.m. So I have this fascinating, fascinating type of uh, equipment right over here. Very cute. Thank you, Delilah. If I put them on, <coughs> I never put them on yet. Let's, let's make sure that the wind will not blow them away. So I guess I should, I should hold them in my hand just in case. Why are they so dark? Oh boy. I actually look through and I see through the glasses it's really not hurting at all man and I see a little bit of the moon covering the sun this is crazy I don't know if I can do it let me try something real cool this is this is really amazing I can actually see it at like a, an edge of the moon covering the sun. I cannot see it right now unless I'm using a special equipment. This is my photo filter that Delilah got me. So I'm going to open it. Oh man, so busy didn't have a didn't even have a didn't have time to open it. I'm gonna open it right now and apply it to the camera and Hopefully, we'll be able to see that as well. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Let's see. <clears throat> which way? Which way? Let's see. Where's my camera? All right, here. Well, uh, it almost feels like I'm at, at the... Okay. Wow. This is... This is it. What do we see? We see the sun. Let me see. Let me make sure it's closer to the lens. Like this. Right there. This is awesome. See that? I'm, I'm using the filter that the Lala gave me. Let me try this side. 
this way. Maybe this way is gonna be a little bit better. Y yeah, yeah, it's this way. Oh, okay. Wow. Did you see that? I think this is pretty cool. Papi Paji, 1799. Assalamu alaikum. Austin, nice. Novo, glasses. Here, yeah, Novo. Nelly, hi everyone. Ambrose, could damage if long term, but doesn't hurt. True, true. That's why I'm not ODing on this. Wow. This is real cool. Let me try the glasses. I'm not going to stare at it, of course, all the time. But I like this spot because... You know, the, the glasses are better because they are showing me the real phase of, like, it's, the moon is really, like, starting to cover the sun. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me try to, to do something. I didn't take the case of my gimbal. If I take the case of my gimbal, I think it might... No, actually, it's going to be pretty much the same effect. Let me try something. See, I'm, I'm using the gadgets. They actually work. They actually work. Let me see. Let me see something. Okay, now I'm using my glasses. I'm using my glasses and I'm putting them against the camera and as you can see the sun through that it's pretty cool pretty cool how's everybody doing Ali 35 Tiffany Page I'm here hi Tiffany Sun S what you look at that's right Angela, yes, I saw it. Very cool. Austin, English, please. Thank you, Austin. RJ, nice. Okay, beautiful. What did I do? I did not take the case of the fill, uh, the, but I'm just looking at the case, and my case doesn't really make the filter look any <clears throat> distance from the lens, so I'm going to put the filter again the right here and do this this is uh, the camera filter what happens if I zoom it in a little bit huh let me experiment with that Very interesting and it's cloudy it's it's really cloudy and because it's cloudy it's not too bright but it's fantastic to see to see the Sun through the glasses and now if I look at the, uh, the Sun through the glasses I see that the Sun is almost entirely covered by the clouds so I will wait I will wait. Steve looks good. Hi, Steve Tenet. Pauline from Aberdeen. Thank you for this video. And you're welcome, Pauline. Good to see you. Let's just... <clears throat> look somewhere else for a moment. This is the Rockefeller University building. Noble Sweetness. Welcome, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button. We use Tonians, Mr. Gloria. Good afternoon. So we're looking at the Queen's section. Ah, not too long ago, remember? In fact, yesterday we took the tram to Roosevelt Island. We're looking at Roosevelt Island and those big buildings, tall buildings, are on the Queen's side. We could also be down there, 
but it looks like this one is giving us a pretty awesome angle. If we all of a sudden see 10,000 people and they will uh, uh, start uh, jamming our network, then we will need to run down there. But other than that, we're good. Klopo, living la vida loca. Austin, thank you. Alberta Farmer, our Lord and Savior. Point taken. Uh, 200 plus people watching us. Don't forget to give us a like. And we are enjoying the clouds over the sun. Look in there. The tram. Just then, Hael, do you have your glasses on? I, when I look up, I put my glasses on. The thing is, the glasses are super effective, but they are made out of cotton. So it's a little windy here. I don't want it to fly away. So I have glasses and I have a filter for, for my phone. Like so, when we look through the filter, right now at the sun, this is what we see. As moon will begin to zoom in, so to speak, we will be able to see less and less sun and more and more moon. If you if you visualize the clock, the moon is uh, starting to cover the sun at approximately five five o'clock, and toward eleven o'clock. This is how it, it looks like it's moving. And bro, how warm is it in the moon? Is it getting all of our sun? That's right. That's why it's so windy down here. And uh, I'm a. Uh, using different filters. I'm using my glasses, putting over the camera, and then I'm using the camera filter. So, let me do the glasses. Well, the good thing is kind of cloudy, so I know UV index is 6, so it's kind of like high, but at least it doesn't feel like you're burning. But it doesn't mean you're not going to get suntan. You know, if uh, they ever decide to send a spaceship to the sun, in order for them not to burn, they will have to launch it at night. This is a joke. Please disregard. Hey Brian, good to see you. Jennifer, just saw it hit totality in Kerrville, Texas. It was beautiful. Saw it on the NASA cam. It's kind of getting a little bit darker, but very insignificantly yet. Scooch, that's awesome. We welcome everyone, especially if you found our channel just now. Please do yourself a favor and uh, subscribe. And also, of course, please give us a like. So we are on Upper East Side, very East East Upper East Side, and kind of like almost the border from uh, between uh, Midtown East, which is kind of like behind the bridge and upper east side which is kind of like here it's kind of because it's very close by Gilbert how long until the eclipse in New York uh, one hour one hour and we're going to put the filter again one side let me see if I, if I put the filter this way very interesting how different filters act differently if I put my glasses filter over the camera this is this is what we're gonna see
and the moon is kind of like starting covering the sun at approximately five o'clock if you visualize one to twelve otherwise bunch of clouds i just hope <laughs> There was a meme on, on uh, social media somewhere about this uh, solar eclipse, uh, the anticipation. And there was like a lot of uh, magicians, like a little very short clip from different movies, like magicians and, you know, everything is so awesome. And then and it says anticipation and then reality. <laughs> so reality is John Pesci standing there with his uh, classic, what the... F <laughs> I hope it's not gonna be cloudy. If it's gonna be cloudy, it's gonna be a major bummer. Like this, it still can be seen through the through the glasses, but you know, one thing is when you see a blurred image, and the other thing is when you see. I I, I see the moon is progressing a little bit. This is the view through the filter. And this is the view real life. Cover is so we're going to be right here closer. I'm wondering, there's a lot of residential area. Will there be a lot of people standing here or they will be partially there? I don't see any crowds right now. There's a lot of people are at work. A lot of people are don't care, to be quite honest. Yeah, okay, you're welcome. Brianna Mancini, you're welcome. I've got a 60% chance of cloudiness with a chance of mid balls. Or just balls. Bummer. How's everybody doing? Oh, look at the waves. I think this is not the worst scenery, right? This is FDR Drive, northbound and southbound. Which we can, you know, switch. We don't have to stare at the sun all the time. Welcome, everyone, and please give us your thumbs up, your likes. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all of your support in the form of super chats and super stickers as well. Cheryl Musgrove, I'm in New Jersey. The clouds are rolling in. That's a bummer. Well, the glasses that Delilah gave me, they are superb. They show so... This, this is exactly how it's supposed to look. But when I put them through like this, and what we see, it's a little bit less in focus, but I guess optics are different, but... It, the moon is progressing a little bit. The glasses are good, but you really have to hold them with your... Oh, actually, maybe not really. You really have to hold them with your hands just in case. So when I put the glasses on, I cannot see anything in front of me. It's like complete darkness, but the sun is good. I would not stare anyways for longer than a couple of seconds at a time. Let's try again. This is through the camera lens filter. Even if I zoom in, let me see what happens when I zoom, zoom. See, if you look down and to the right, you, you don't see the complete circle because the moon is actually covering this. It's pretty awesome. Ambrose, hi, ring doorbell. Hi, Sharon from Philadelphia. I haven't been in all a while. All the pressing things going on, but I'm grateful that I get notices on my phone. I put my trash out early. It is starling. 
It is starting. Hi and why? Thank you for being here. Please hit the like button. Austin, welcome. Sharon, Steve TNF. The last time we had one in the UK in 1999, the birds stopped singing. They thought it was nighttime. I used the welder's glass in front of my camera. Share a major bummer. Amber, same effect with darkness with clouds, but can see Corona. Yep. Angela, I get afternoon sun, so it's probably right above me. My eyes hurt. Experimenting with lens. Boy, look at that. This is quite fascinating. Bernardo, it's beautiful. Feel free to support us with your amazing donations and contributions if you feel like it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give us a like. This is very important for us and for the channel and for you too. It's free. It only takes a moment. And the more likes, the more people will find our stream. This lady in front of me is no joke. She she actually applied the glasses against her phone camera lens and uh, took your pictures. Hola, good afternoon. This is somewhere there. The sun is beyond the clouds. Right there. everybody doing it may look like we are less dynamic as usual but this is a special occasion like 4th of July fireworks for example or Times Square New Year's Eve or solar eclipse we're anticipating 87 percent uh, not a hundred but 87 percent coverage so it's gonna get where is the darkness it's 2.44, we have 50 minutes, I think. 35, 45, 50 minutes, yes. Jovan Moore, when is it? Sooner rather than later. Looking through camera lens. Gilbert, thank you for sharing this with us because in France we don't have it. You're welcome. Please let your friends and family know, maybe through social media. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Jennifer Nasa came is amazing. Just so Dallas, Texas was beautiful. Would you like me to walk a little bit or would you like me to stand in one place? What do you think? If we walk, we would, <clears throat> we would have to walk downstairs right there along the waterfront. ...elevation and you don't have to... The 
The sun is right there in the center, believe it or not. I would say that the moon covered the sun right now probably 25% approximately. Let me see if I can zoom and uh, and 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 put put the filter over it. If the network becomes a little unstable here, I will have to go downstairs. Jennifer, it's up to you. And Angela, if you get tired of standing, you can walk. Thank you. Mr. D, thank you. I wasn't able to get glasses, so glad I'm able to watch here. You're welcome. Either way, Austin, thank you so much. Oh, we can walk downstairs and then come back, but we're probably going to have a bunch of people standing here, but it's okay. Mr. D, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Mr. D. It's getting cloudier. A little cloud here. But it's a good picture opportunity. Did you see that uh, the next day after the earthquake, they were selling t shirts in New York? I survived the earthquake. So, what are they going to do now? I survived the solar eclipse? Put the filter against the camera. Now we're using camera filter. Some people are
We're all waiting for solar eclipse. Here on the east side of Manhattan. East River, Roosevelt Island is right there. And uh, more people down there as well. I started out, I don't know if it's related to the eclipse, but my dog has gotten very neat in a wall. Poor doggy, Ambrose, my cats are all sleeping, but that's normal. And why, thank you for your support and donation, Mr. SB. Angela, I'm about to dig into some chocolate cherry cheesecake gelato. My cat is set out on the bed. As you can see, the massive cloud, cloud cover. Hey, Steve, 10 X Y, hi and why? And why? This is exciting. Welcome, everyone. 252. So, give or take, we have. Uh, what do we have? About 30 for 40, 40, less than 45 minutes until. The sun will, 80, 87% of the sun will be covered by the moon. <laughs> We're here on the east side of Manhattan and hi from New York City everybody. If you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome everyone. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And your likes are very much appreciated. Peter, you need to use a solar filter. Try putting a lens. Have the solar glasses of the camera lens. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I have uh, glasses and I have a uh, solar filter for the phone lenses, like this. This is what we get with the phone lens filter. And this is what we get with the glasses filter. One second. So this is all pretty awesome. Peter, this is it. Very nice. Thank you, Peter. Ambrose, I think I see snow. Oh, wait. <laughs> must be, must be pollen. You know, through the glasses with a human eye, the moon looks almost like, I mean, the sun looks almost like the moon. I would say it's probably about 30% covered now, but physics, there's still enough light to bypass the moon. So it still doesn't look like it's, it's evening. The hospital nurses, I think, or, or students, medical students probably, they're like, nah. So I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. Nanilium live, it's cool. Hey, we see a lot of new people watching us today. Welcome everyone, and if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you. Peter, hey Angela, I'm curious, are you related to former Secretary of Agriculture, Earl Boots? But it was Secretary of Agriculture during Nixon and Ford administration. Uh, 
eye doctors. He was like, yes, <laughs> let's schedule an appointment before you need it, right? Let's try it again. Hello. As you can see, it's pretty cloudy, but nevertheless, I was pushing, pushing on the phone a little too much. Austin, and be sure to hit the like button and share the channel with your friends and family. Angela, no, I'm not. It's funny that you asked that. The whole 18 years I worked on Purdue campus, I got asked that question. Welcome everyone, we are anticipating the solar eclipse, 87%. So 57, we have about 38 minutes until it is 80%, 87% covered. As more people are gathering here, the less and less space for the good network coverage. And no filter view. Hey, Christian Hansen. Angela, it will get dark. It has to, but right now, like through my glasses, when I use my human eye sensors, it, it looks like approximately 30% of the surface of the sun is covered. But through the filters, it's not showing like that. Actually, it does. You see, it's a little narrower on the on the south east corner, so to speak, or like at five o'clock approximately. Now I'm pushing the pushing the engines so so hard that they're losing their sense of balance. Carl's balls takoyaki. Where's the takoyaki? Hey, Carl's Bowls? Is it Carl? Good to see you. Takoyaki, yum. How's your bus doing? Last time we spoke, last year, I think. Uh, I think your bus is, is fully functional now and it's going places. That, that little bus looks so cool. Hey Al, we're gonna be back for the Japan parade. I hope me too. So hopefully we'll see you there. Good to see you busy as always. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. This is how I learn Japanese. Takoyaki, tokonomiyaki. Arigato, and that's it. And I like Japanese food. Carl, busy, busy. We're going to DC this weekend for Sakura Matsuri cherry blossoms. Oh, those cherry blossoms, man! Around the. I keep forgetting that, but you know, there's around the memorials that area with tons of cherry blossoms. It's gonna be so much fun. 
The business will be awesome there too. If you ever in New York or anywhere else and you say Carl Balls, Takoyaki, you gotta get it for a serving or two because first of all, it's amazing to see how they make them. Then, they I, you know what? I never had, a never had a chance to taste it yet. I always look, walk by and I film and I stream and uh, I never, <laughs> never had a chance to taste them. This is, and I always like salivate when I walk by. Neo99 and the clip super chat for L. Thank you, Neo99. You are amazing as always. Thank you so, so much for your kind support. Neo99 for your generosity and support. Thank you so much. We're waiting for 3.35. You know what? I wouldn't say it's getting darker. Maybe like a fraction. A fraction. Neo99, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Carl's Balls, come and find me next time, Mel. I'll got you, buddy. Thank you so much, Carl. I will take you up on this sofa and I will uh, definitely enjoy it. Thank you. Carl Balls Takoyaki NYC. Seriously. I don't know if any of our viewers will be visiting <laughs> Manhattan or will be around Jap Japan Parade, but uh, anywhere else, food courts, uh, food fair, you know, all kinds of events that involve food. If you see Carl Bull's Takoyaki, you will be just getting a uh, full gas. In. That's what it is, full gas. In. Anthony Feliciano, I love your channel. I watch all your videos. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony Feliciano, thank you so much. You're very kind. Thank you for your words. Thank you. Living in Florida now for the last six years. I visit New York every now and then, but it's great to see it on your video. I'm very happy to help. You know, when I, when I look through these glasses, I see the surface coverage, a very decent surface coverage. I would even say maybe f more than 50%, but when we apply the filters, you know, there's the law of physics and optics and the rays and all this mixed up and it shows more rounded circle. But in actuality, actually when we, like if you would attempt, which you don't have to and should not, just quickly, briefly look up you will see the same kind of circle that you would see uh, through the camera. But if you actually use the glasses and you look up there through the glasses, you would see the crescent. You would see the crescent, but it's not the moon crescent, it's the sun crescent. Hours 47, soon, soon. Angel, really dark now here in Lafayette, Indiana. So it's getting here, it's getting here. It's 3.06, after all, we have about 30 minutes. About 30 minutes.
if it's getting dark in Indiana, it's going to be dark in here soon. Can't wait because it's really interesting experience, isn't it? Let's try to look again. If I zoom in, I think because this filter is so dark, I don't think it's showing the proper measurements, but let me see, let me try. But definitely not rounded anymore. And that's actually a crescent, it's just the, our filter, filtration all of the situation here. But you can see, you can clearly see that it's no longer rounded. Yeah, I'm taking a picture of me, I'm taking a picture of you, dude. Oh, right, look, people are lining up a little bit right down there. Oh, it's getting a little darker. I'm not on Roosevelt Island, but I'll, I'm seeing Roosevelt Island right there in front of me is Roosevelt Island. I see a bunch of people there on Roosevelt Island also lining up along the water. And a lot of them are probably watching through, through the windows, especially these buildings that face in the sun. It's teeny tiny bit darker now. It has to be. It has to be. Angela Samira just shot out fireworks. Oh. Oh, look at him. What is he exactly doing? He's the star of our stream right now. Whatever he does, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my activities. Phone lens filter. Do we go down or? Who needs an appointment? Who needs an eye doctor? Mike Rosso, Fox Support L. Big. Thank you, Mike. Oh, now we have a bunch of people here. Now, now we're clearly hoping that the network will be better. Anthony, now uh, if, you, if you're on the FDR drive side of the head, and yep, absolutely, FDR is right here. We took this one yesterday, last time we were streaming. 400 people and counting. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's take a look at the sun through our glasses. Let's zoom in a little bit and then use the glass filter. Let's see what happens. Lost the sun? Ah, oh, there you go. But this is when I'm zooming. Almost looks like a, a spaceship going into space from the from Earth. No zoom, just regular regular size right now. I want to thank Delilah once again for providing these fantastic devices for all of us to enjoy the sun. Look at this. These are the fancy glasses and I also have a filter for the camera which is, which is right here. For the filter. But we're going to focus on a, on a 
landscape and on the fact that it's getting it, it is getting darker it's funny it's kind of like in the evening it's getting darker in a slightly different way i think but right now it's getting darker very very slowly i think in the evening it's getting darker faster or maybe it's my body it's like it's not used to to darkness <laughs> At three o'clock in the afternoon, Steve TNX, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. I was not sure if glasses are working properly. Huh? I have glasses. I have eye condition. I cannot. I cannot give it to you because I have eye condition. You, you don't want to get infection. Sorry. Anthony, we're one hour behind you. Central time is just starting to get a little dark. Young people running around here, borrowing, trying to borrow the glasses just to take a look. But you know, glasses are very. So I am being selfish right now. Because, you know, we don't want to. We don't want any. Any. Um, what's a good word? Um, prizes? Surprises? But it shows you how desperate people get around this type of events. Now the sun looks like a moon crescent. If you would be able to see it through the good optics. But through these optics which we have... Still awesome. No, we didn't get, uh, we didn't reach the totality yet, but we're going to reach the totality very soon. Very, very soon. You can see it's getting darker. getting a little darker but just a little Peter you can use those solar glasses to view sun spots later on they are not just for eclipses yes if you have a filter for a teleporter lens sun calls are interesting to see See, you can even tell when uh, I'm trying to zoom on to Roosevelt Island Tram. It used to be very bright and clear, and now it's really dark. Darker.
over 500 people watching us. We want to thank you all for being here and sharing this historic moment with us. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel right now and thank you. You will not be disappointed. We are cool. If you don't believe me, ask our chat. Holly, full sun and beverage right now. It looks like full sun. It's crazy, but it's really not because if you use the glasses, you only see the crescent. Everything else is covered by the moon. This is this is this is very interesting. It's very very interesting. Please give us a like, this way more and more people will be here by 3.35 p.m. Eastern Time. This is 20 more, less than 20 more minutes, 18 minutes. So, is it... Is it going to get dark? Because right now it's kind of weird. Still is Spongebob, looks very cloudy down there. My friend is in Syracuse, it looks like that there too. I'm in Westchester County and it's nice here, no clouds. Oh, lucky you in Westchester County. It's not too far, but... Yeah, if you look at the sky, you can see kind of like the, the constant pattern of clouds. It's not too bad. And if you have glasses and you look at the sun, you can actually see the crescent but um, still not not 100% clear vision <laughs> let's do it again let's zoom zoom a little and put the filter camera filter on it How about we zoom a little bit more and put the filter on it? Hello? <laughs> this one is documenting, documenting history. I will be on some some phone picture albums. That's an excellent channel, I recommend that. Thank you so much. I love when you walk around New York City, the channel is named appropriately, and you have a great narrative voice, crystal clear, very informative. Anthony, you are so, 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 so great. Thank you so much for your um, definition of our channel. Thank you so much. Ori, good to see you again. And why like, share, and subscribe if you're in New York metro area. 87% coverage will occur in uh, 15 minutes. Darlene W, hey, happy solar eclipse. How's it looking up there? I didn't like that in Cleveland, it got freaky dark. Uh, oh, really? Uh, I can't wait. Because if we look through the, through the glasses, we see the crescent, the sun crescent, not the moon crescent. And uh, through this filter, it's not so much, but you can kind of tell. But um, at the same time, it's kind of a little bit dark, but not really. So it, I'm expecting this to be getting super dark, like by the moment.
Emily, good day everyone. Hi Emily. Oh yes, now it's getting a little dark. So, you know, it kind of reminds me like if you go to sit, come to see the movie, and you're sitting in the movie theater and all of a sudden they start making the lights like dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Ricardo looks cool though, the filter. I mean, it got dark like night time, but not quite as dark. It was an eerie dark. Angel, now it's getting darker and darker by the moment. Let me get my glasses, see what's going on. You know, if they say 87%, I would say that right now it's probably around 80% covered by... by um, by the moon but when we look like this we cannot see anything a massive cloud cover is passing over massive so you can see a little crescent thingy this is how it looks from where we're standing through the glasses Let's zoom a little, see what happens. Welcome everyone, almost 700 people watching us right now. How are you doing? Happy Eclipse? Like if you didn't know what it was, it looks like a, a spaceship is going into space right now. And, and it's so far from, the, from Earth, and it's, the image is shaking, but the camera is trying to capture it. This is how it looks like. But this is the glasses, right? This is really, really uh, thin right now. The crescent is very thin. If you use the photo filter, let's see what happens. Now you see the crescent, really. It's a little thicker than in, in real life, but you can tell, you can tell. And now it's getting darker because of the clouds. That's a bummer. Bummer. Irma, good to see you. Nice clouds. Clouds would be nice if uh, if we didn't focus on sun right now, but because we're focusing on sun, look what's going on. It's still magnificent views. Ghostbusters Media, hello from Germany. Good Abend, Ghostbusters Media. Good afternoon from New York City. Thank you so much for being here. Please, please share the link to this stream and anything else you like on our channel on your social media platforms and let other people know about our channel. Let us all enjoy New York City right now and in the future. Robert, hello from Massachusetts. Cloudy here also. Novo, hello to all 700, now 750 viewers. If you're new to our channel, I hope you're subscribing or have subscribed. It only takes a moment. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for giving us a like, everyone. Thank you to all of our fantastic moderators and why? Austin City Limits, Novo Sweetness, Audi and Ambrose. Woody's channel, greetings from Hungary and other side of the planet. Hey Woody's channel. 
Thank you so much. Good evening to you. Good late evening to you. Thank you so much for watching. Let's apply the glasses again. See what happens. There you go. You know, it's right by 3.35. The, the skies was so clear in the, in the morning. And now look at this. I think it's for everyone to make sure they don't get really their eyesight damaged much, hopefully. Jorge Marcelo Rodriguez. Like number 282, only, only less than 300 likes and 800 people watching us. Guys, 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 please give us a like. Irma, sorry I'm late. No worries at all, no worries at all. Oh, thank you, Ambrose. Oh, and now the network is congested, really? Really? I will move a little bit. Ghostbusters Media, good morning. Unfortunately, uh, I don't speak German. Hans gut Deutsch sprechen. Ah, uh, that's only two words I know. Oh, I can count. I, uh, like one, two, three, oh, that's it. But, um, uh, thank you. Puerto Rico landscapes. We are enjoying your live transmission from Puerto Rico. Hola, hola. Where's the sun? So I'm trying to find the sun through, through the clouds. <laughs> so cloudy. I cannot even see it. See the people down there, down there on the waterfront? Please let other people know about our channel, no matter where you are, and thank you. Wait a minute, where is it? It's right there, right? But when I put the filter, it's so dark. Oh, that tiny, tiny dark in the middle. See how cloudy it is? You cannot see anything through the filter. So the dot moving back and forth. Let's wait for the clouds to, to. I don't even know if they will be out of our sight in time because it is 3:29. It's it's huh, six minutes until 87. Uh, but you know what else is weird? Uh, it's not getting really dark. see the crescent though uh, through the glasses but you cannot see anything through here and if you let's let's do the glasses over the camera so what happens there you go so we're like five minutes away from the largest cover that we can see in New York City, which is 87 point something percent. My gimbal decided not to fix it a little bit later. Like now, so no worries. There you go. Crowd Fresser, greetings from Germany, stay safe all. Oh, hey! Good evening, Crown Fester. Thank you so much for watching. Look at this clouds. Clouds really are not helping. I mean, if you're staring through the glasses, you can probably see. Oh, look at this filter there. Filter is very cool. I can take good pictures. And why? Please hit that thumbs up button for Alice. 100% free. And please subscribe. Thank you. Let's try to zoom in a little, or a lot, and put the glasses over it.
and it should be right there. This is how cloudy it is. You kind of see the crescent, but through the blur of the clouds. I think we're going to have a, a cloudy uh, totality, uh, near totality point, because it's 3.32 right now. Do you think we're going to see more? I think that's it. Impatient New Yorkers. You think we're gonna see more? No, you're pretty much done. But that is great. It's no matter what they say. My only disappointment, I was expecting this to get a little darker. I mean, it's really kind of like, I don't know, 10% darker than usual, maybe. 15, 20, I don't know, it's very hard to tell. It really didn't get any darker. Angela, yes, looks like crescent. Let's try it again. Let's zoom again. And put the filter near it. Okay. A little bit less clouds right now. Yes, it's, it's really not what I was expecting. I think the last time it covered the whole sun in 2019, didn't it? Yeah, it was dark. It was dark. Now it's not dark at all. So now it looks like it's getting bigger like it. So now it's gonna go in the reverse uh, direction and uh, get a little, whoopsie, I got a little bit lighter by the minute, but this is it. As far as the peak time, right? Almost. And at least the glasses work so I could see the moon. <laughs> but very interesting experience. It's just <laughs> it didn't get dark. Bummer. It kinda like a little bit, a little bit, but this is this is how it looks like. Pretty much the same thing. I mean, yes, it is darker, but it's like a little bit darker. Buffalo Guard, 100% totality. Let's use different filter again. In fact, let me zoom a little. And use the filter. But through the glasses, if you wear the glasses, it's showing the crescent. It's, it's just optical illusion. Beverly, thank you all, beautiful. I watch you all the time, but I don't always type. Love the color, first of all. Yes, thank you so much, Beverly, thank you. Jesus, I think it will be 90% in your city. Yeah, it's like as we speak about 87, 86%. But 
you know. It is what it is. And uh, I'm just happy for everyone to be able to say that they survived the solar eclipse. Whoops. What an understatement, but it's a pretty interesting experience regardless. Well, your Halton may uh, it has hit full eclipse in that state. Wow. Just Sean, good to see you. Hi, Sean. I saw it in London, UK, August 11, 1999. Austin looks like late evening, like here in New Mexico. It, it kind of looked like late evening for a moment. And now it's getting brighter again because at this point more and more sun surface is being open as opposed to solar eclipse. Let's try the filter again. And as you can see, everybody left almost, which means that very punctual. 3.35, they were at the peak. This is it. Now they have to go about their own businesses. Well, time for me to have uh, a couple of uh, chocolate-covered almonds and walk a little bit. But before we do, let's take a look down here. East River. Trams are pretty frequent today, unlike on the weekend. Honey, it got dark at my house and the street lights on my yard light came on. Wow, lucky you. And. And uh, we'll walk. Ambrose, anybody wants to buy a gently used eclipse glass? <laughs> Funny, same here downtown where I work, Darlene. All of them didn't come on. But because they said since it happened so fast, the sensors can't handle it. Okie dokie. So, another event documented by our channel, by our channel. Time to get some chocolate covered almonds and walk a little bit, maybe a block or two. Mike Russell, thanks out. My fiance. As the day off, he went out to look, and he said, when it got dark, all the birds landed on the ground. Really confused the birds. They're on 63rd Street. East 63rd Street. Catherine, 94% of the sun is obscured right now. And why? Thank you, Al. That was fun. You're welcome. Thank Delilah for providing the filters and the glasses as well. A few more minutes of east side of Manhattan. This is 
York Avenue on East 63rd Street. That was amazing. Thank you, Mist. I'm kind of young, so I might see two in my life, maybe more, depending on how where you travel in the world. Daisy Ambrose. Not what you thought it would be. But three landscapes, thank you. You're very welcome. And why? Thank you, Delilah. I guess the work around these buildings, these people here and there, so they're just standing there and still taking pictures. This is it, people. Windsor Bridge is in front of us. It was mostly sunny, so yeah. 343 in New York. And it's time to slowly go back to uh, regular activities, at least for now. Will we be alive in the evening? Maybe talk about the eclipse? Why not? But it all depends. As we always say, Please subscribe, and if you are subscribed with all notifications, then let our next notification be a pleasant surprise for you. Are you <laughs> this is York Avenue on East 61st Street. And we're zigzagging backwards. Audio. Thank you so much, Delala. Now that was awesome. You're welcome. We're going back inland, so to speak. This is the beginning of Upper East Side, and we see a little bit of a bridge. Oh, what a view! Steve, next time I'll get some welders goggles. Yeah, those are those are real. Mount Vernon Hotel. Historical. I was here with the little ones. I remember. A cute little museum, Mount Vernon Hotel. That bike is pretty fast, too fast. A local time in New York is 3.46 p.m. We're approaching First Avenue. We're on East 63rd Street. Another good corner to see the sun. Let's take a look at it one more time.
87% sun coverage by the moon. Now it's bright as always. Bright day, sunny day. Business as usual. Beautiful. We want to thank you all so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for your donations, those who donated today and always. Thank you so much for your kind words. And of course, thank you for making our streams a part of your day. Ghostbusters Media, thank you. You're welcome. Before you leave, please do yourself a favor and subscribe and let other people in Germany, you know, and anywhere else in the world know about our channel. Thank you for discovering us today. Every, everybody who's new, look at this crazy traffic on First Avenue. Michael C. Noble and Y. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Steve, thanks for the coverage. Thank you so much, the mods and why. Audio, Austin City Limits. Noble Sweetness and Ambrose, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us as always. <gasps> Oops, sorry. We will see you next time. We will see you later. We will see you sooner. Uh, rather than later until next time goodbye from Upper East Side thank you so much again thank you to our viewers old and new I hope you will subscribe and you will stay with our channel and travel the streets of New York City and explore it with all of us thank you and until next time happy solar eclipse day everybody Stay bright and shine always. Bye.